So today 21st of uh, May 2010 yes. and it's exactly one year and five months after your surgery for bowel X correction is done. So right now we uh, try to give information to the people who's interested in that kind of surgery uh, what has happened after apparatus removal. So on the, my first question will be about uh, two months after the apparatus removal, how they are uh, gone for you? How do, what do you do during those two months? After, after two months, I, was, I started back in my gym. I have a small gym at home that I used to do exercises before the operation. And I didn't start them again until two months after the apparatus was removed, as Dr. Beckley asked me to. And so I have a treadmill which I did walking and sl slow running to start with. I do leg exercises on my equipment and I do upper body exercises. This I do three times a week and I've been doing this again since the two months after the operation and I've gradually been able to get to running on the treadmill quite confidently within, within six months after the apparatus removal I was running quite a, 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 a reasonable distance on, on, the on my treadmill. Yeah. I see. So uh, it, uh, it means that during two months, as Dr. Weglich made a recommendation, you're just walking during that time. And oh, after yes. that, you're starting to, to do it, your exercises in the gym. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I only did walking for the first two months. I felt that I was capable of more, but Dr. Weglich had said stick to the two months and then gradually increase the exercise and the workload, which I did. I think this is the best way to do it. Uh, the question is quite interesting because um, people want to know uh, when you feel that your legs are strong enough, I mean, you absolutely forget about them. I mean, what time is spent after the apparatus removal? I think, I think six months after the removal, I, I was getting to the point where I never even thought about my legs or the operation at all. I'd go a day without even thinking about it. You would only be reminded if I looked in, in a mirror and could see my legs were straight. But I, I never used to... After, after six months I wasn't thinking about it at all, the legs. And you tell about your grandkids, so you play together all oh, yes. the time. Yeah. Yes, I, I have five grandchildren. Um, two of them are, are only, well, one's nine and the other one's seven, and they take a lot of energy. Um, I run with them, play with them, they climb all over me. I've had no problems at all with my legs. That's good. And the question is, did you remember when you, after a product removal, first to dance? Right? Yes, yes, it was probably about three months after the removal, um, not because I wanted to, we hadn't been anywhere, but we like to rock and roll or jive we call it, which is quite strenuous and I, I felt strange at first, but it was, it's more in the mind, the legs are okay, but you have to tell your, tell your body, your mind has to to tell your body that everything's okay. You, you, your mind is, is the problem. There was no problem with the legs, but after I danced a couple of times, I had no problems. So it means you dance a jazz, yes? Very no, speed yeah, it, dancing. It's very, very energetic. And yeah. it, it is a lot of movement with the legs, rock and roll this. We've done this, my wife and I, for years. It's our favorite dance, so. <laughs> it's interesting, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's good. So times go, and it, you said that after six months, you even forget about thinking about the legs. And uh, right now is uh, one year and five months after the surgeries, and you came to the clinic for Dr. Veklich as a tourist to Ukraine to look around for one week, and Dr. Veklich invited you to look the Ukraine 
because during the surgery and during your standing clinic you ha don't have a chance to look how Ukrainians look like. That's right. So uh, you have been on the trip around the Kiev for a few days and around three days you have been in Odessa. So what do you say? Do you like the Ukraine? What do you feel after the, you've done the trip? Oh, it was, it, we're so pleased, my wife and I, we're so pleased we came back to be able to see it. We, we're very impressed with the country um, and the cities and we, we've done lots of walking and we've, I don't know, we must have walked at least eight kilometres a day in Odessa and a lot of it is stairs, steps and I've had no problems at all. Yeah, I've never been worried that I wouldn't. I, I don't feel that I've got any problems. Um, but we've enjoyed to come back and have the chance to, to look at it properly. Yes, very interesting. And one of the questions I asked by patients before they uh, wanted to do the surgery, what are any uh, side effects or any uh, pain you have after the apparatus removal? How about the pain level? I've had no pain at all. You, you get, as you do more exercises, your muscles, because you haven't been using them as much for a while, they ache a little. But as you do more and more exercises, you, you find that they, that they don't. And I've had, over this last week that I've been in the Ukraine, I've had no problems on my legs, haven't ached at all, I've had no pain. I've had no pain at all from my legs since the operation, since the apparatus removal. I see. So today Dr. Reklish has asked you for make a proposition to make X-rays to show how the bone is, uh, the new bone is rebuilt and consolidated. So, what from x-rays you just feel about your legs and what you see on x-ray? Well, I, I, I was amazed. You can't see where the, the, the surgery was done. The bone looks exactly the same as the other bone. It all looks one piece. You can't, you can't see where it was done at all. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's really good. So. I look in the situation that treatment as um, for the bow legs correction is absolutely finished and you feel it that uh, you look at x-rays and the most important as I understood you feel your legs are strong for all your life and you forget about your deformity and uh, just when you look into the mirror you sometimes can just expect that you had it yes. some days, some days ago. That's right. Yeah, so Many questions what we have is answered, so we wish you, David, a very good time for life. Stay in the United Kingdom. The best wishes. I have traveled more and more around the world. And thank you very much for you have been our patient. Uh, Dr. Vekic is happy that we met and your treatment is successfully finished. Yes, thank you very much. You've been a great help to us and I'd just like to say again to Dr. Becklidge, a, a very, very good surgeon and he's done a wonderful job, thank you. And I haven't seen any of them at the moment, but thank you again to the staff. They, they were a great help when I was here. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Okay.